is totally different than anybody else. It was uh, in combination of, for me, well, I'm not going to tell you it's a secret. No, uh, <laughs> no uh, in all sincerity, I don't like talking about myself, but it'll be a good tour guide and answer. Um, growing up, my father was amazing. However, he did the right thing for a father to do. Um, he never told me anything about it. He didn't tell me to do it. He shouldn't, and most fathers who are Masons and have sons should not do that either. And again, so he did the right thing, but he did notice the unique fraternal bond he had wherever he went. He thought something was a Mason. Not that I know how he even knew they were Masons. Um, he got along with them like that. And it was always kind of nice when we were traveling. So it was the combination of that. So my favorite writers were Masons, uh, notably um, uh, Oscar Wilde and Richard Kipling. Um, and, you know, I was attracted to the romantic era that when I was I joined when I was 18, I'm only 22 now. Um, so there was that romantic allure of mystery that I found really compelling. Um, and uh, I decided to ask my dad, uh, I want to join. And his initial response was, what? And then he uh, got everything in place. He was confused because at that point, uh, I was trying to do everything that my dad didn't want me to do. I was very, very rebellious and I dressed awfully. So, uh, yeah, that, that was what attracted me to him. Thank you. Okay. Are there, yeah. Um, If they really felt like it, but they've been assigned in the same room for decades. Okay. So, so they, I mean, let's say they like this one better than the other one. I mean, I guess, but there would be no real reason to. And I can say this room is kind of dangerous. If the speaker is um, really dull, this room gets very distracting. And because we get lost in, I found myself kind of just like not listening to anything. <laughs>